Do you think it's okay to make unlawful contributions out of your personal family foundation and then attack my foundation? It saves millions of lives in my personal foundation. We have put millions of dollars into it. Do you think that's okay? Boy, he's your guy. Bill Clinton uh, on the campaign trail yesterday, pinch hitting for his wife while she recovered from pneumonia. She's going to hit the trail again today in North Carolina. And joining us from Capitol Hill is Democratic Senator Claire McCaskill of Missouri. Claire, great to have you on. Thanks. So there were issues of transparency uh, about her illness now. Um, is this catching up to her? I mean, when you look at the, the polls and they just, don't you think she should be doing better? You know, I, um, I, I think she always knew this was going to be close. There's yeah. a reason why they've built an incredible ground game operation in all of these states. That was because they knew they needed to mobilize their voters in the closing weeks of the campaign. But, you know, if you want to talk about transparency, Mika, I, the thing that kills me right now is how are we this close to the election and we are just now getting reporting about Donald Trump's financial ties to our enemies and to our allies all across the globe. We know nothing about these deals. Some of them aren't even included in his FEC filing. Why aren't we finding out what is his connection to some of these strong men in these countries, some of which have great relationships with Iran, who is sending money to terrorists? Why aren't we learning about the details of his web of international business dealings that would, could have the most dramatic impact on a foreign policy that, that we've ever seen in well, our lifetime. It's a perfectly good touche, and it's a very valid point, and I think the answers would be in his tax returns, but he won't release them. I'm and not sure that they're in his tax returns. These are questions that need to be pressed to him. How is he getting away without answering the question of give us your financial ties to the countries of our enemies and the countries of our friends? We want to know about your financials. This notion that they have been able to somehow pivot and make this about a charity that gives away 90 of its right. percent of its money to charitable causes, and by the way, the Clinton family doesn't take a dime out of it. And meanwhile, his foundation is a right. scam, and right, we right, know right. nothing about his business. No, Claire, I'll turn to the expert, the Trumpologist on the set, uh, Katie Turr. If you ask him these questions, what does he say? He pivots, or he, he t attacks Hillary Clinton, or he says, that's unnecessary, you don't need to know that, or I'm under audit, or don't worry, everything is fine, my business dealings Believe have me. nothing to do with how I'll run this country. Believe me, only that I'm going to make better deals, because I'm going to be friends with everybody, and I know how everything works. So but I have a question for the senator. Uh, given everything you just laid out, and, and it's quite a list, and given that Donald Trump has not released his taxes, uh, given that he has questions around his charitable foundation, uh, given that he doesn't have the same depth in foreign policy, why does Hillary Clinton not enjoy a much larger lead? That's got to be giving Democrats such concern right now that they've chosen a candidate of their own that can't seem to, um, in, if you believe this, that if he's a huckster, that can't seem to distance herself from some somebody who's uh, so unqualified, in, in your opinion? Well, I think in presidential elections, history has shown that American people do have a penchant for a brand new bright and shiny object. Um, they are, um, you know, they, I think there is a lot of dissatisfaction in this country in a sense that we need to blow up the system. Who better to blow up the system than a huckster and a con man? Um, I, I, and I will say some of it is inexplicable to me, honestly, I, candidly. I will say the only thing I will say with passion this morning is if you believe Donald Trump is not the right man to lead the most powerful nation in the world, if you believe that he does not have the depth of the stability to be president, today call, go online and volunteer for Hillary Clinton. We've got to mobilize these voters. People need to quit wringing their hands and get to work. Hey, Senator, as you are well aware, I'm kind of slow. But you mentioned Donald Trump's financial transactions, his dealings with enemies of our country. You mentioned Iran. Do you have any specific information about his financial transactions slash business dealings with a country like Iran? Well, here's what uh, I'm just I just read the Newsweek article and I wish every American would read it because I was stunned when I read it. First of all, I was stunned that it's September and is just now coming out. 
that he has issues in South Korea, he has issues in Turkey, he has issues in India, he has issues in the Ukraine. We know about his love affair with Putin, a thug and a strong man who is an anathema to every American value. So th the notion that we have not had enough reporting around his international business issues, he may not want to answer the questions, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't be talking about it. I mean, we've talked more right. about Hillary refusing to take a sick day until she it. had to I than it. we have about him being buddies with a strong man in countries that he's done business with that is, in fact, I think tied been to Iran. Critical. Okay. So, so do, you, do you know, under the Constitution, I, I understand, you're a lawyer, is it possible for a president-elect Trump or for a president Trump to continue doing private business? No. It, oh, I don't know that. I, is it possible? Is there anything that declares that unconstitutional? Not that I'm aware of. And frankly, he can say that he's not going to have anything to do with it. But you can't put his business in a blind trust because he knows who all these people are. Yeah. You know, he, he the, the guy in Turkey that he does business with, who now is on the opposite side of Erdogan. Um, you know, in in all of these countries where he has these relationships with people who are either on the right side or the wrong side of their government and our government, um, he already knows that. So, so pay to play. Give me a break. I mean, yeah, that's what he's done with his foundation. Could be the most massive global yeah. pay to play Senate. we've ever seen, Senator, Donnie. It, it's Donnie Deutsch first. That's why I feel badly about the Cardinals that the Mets have overtaken the oh. wild card wait, wait, wait. race. Wait, We're a half a game back, Donnie. Well, Don't speak too soon. We're only a half a game back for the wild card. I, I want to go back to more a somber topic. And I'm a dad, uh, and I know Donald for years. You know, I've always liked the guy I met, and the candidate repulses me and, and really frightens me. Frightens me for my children. All we could all talk about a list of, of things. Even in the last segment, we we're talking about a guy who puts a foundation in his name and then takes the money from other people and gives it away under his name, where the average wealthy person does the complete opposite. We could do a list of a hundred things that say something about the man as a human being, as a human being. Why do people refuse? Why is he Teflon Don? Why does it not stick to him where whatever it sticks on Hillary sticks and multiplies and metastasizes? Explain the psychology. You run successful campaigns. You're a fantastic politician. You obviously understand people. I can't figure it out. As a guy who's watched trends for 30 years, who's built brands, I can't figure out why that doesn't stick, why it doesn't register the human being they're seeing. Well, I, I think it has registered with a lot of people. I don't think we should discount that. I have an awful lot of Republican friends who, and f frankly, some whose names you would recognize, who are not going to vote for Donald Trump and, in fact, will vote for Hillary Clinton. You've seen lists of really important, strong, smart people in foreign policy and the military that have said unequivocally that Hillary Clinton is by far the better candidate. But I think it goes back to what I said before. People see the dysfunction of our government and they think, well, let's just blow it up. Um, so partly, we're to blame, these guys, us back here, in that we have gotten into a habit of doing so much around the politics of our jobs and not enough about the policy of our jobs. We have been too willing to stand, quote unquote, on principle and not compromise and get things done. And people are sick of it. So they think, well, why should we go with someone that, who's familiar to us? Let's go to somebody who, frankly, is entertaining and, you know, <coughs> it, it looks you know that he's like he's been successful maybe he can blow the place up and make something happen I, it's so wrong right. because the constitution right. is what will control him he cannot be a dictator even though he campaigns like a dictator these people are still going to be here yeah. and they're still going to be saying you know of course we're not going to build well, a wall well he went on dr Roz and gave his health information yeah. sort of so well, yeah dr Roz. yeah well in that a pair okay <laughs> oh my lord talk about two snake oil salesmen <laughs> I mean, one of them says, you know, take a pill and you'll be thin from your lips to God's ear. Would we all love that? Not true, not medically true, not scientifically true. And Dr. Oz knows it. And he does it all the time. Then we've got Donald Trump promising things that are totally not true, lying every time almost he opens his mouth. So I think it's a marriage made in heaven, Dr. Oz and Donald and Trump. And Senator Claire McCaskill, always good to have you on the show. I Thank hope to you. see you soon in person. Thanks. Okay, Take thanks care. guys. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.